had to come over to the insect farm tonight to uh, plug in my sensor push uh, gateway uh, because I took all of the power out of my old office. Uh, let me explain why and give you an update on the expansion. Uh, so I'm in the front part of the building at this point. Um, so there's the main human entrance. And then if I come over here, we've got the garage door out front, right? And so the room I'm standing in right now used to be the R&D storage random area. Um, and what it's going to turn into, there's blocking up there now. Uh, that's about halfway done uh, to get a ceiling. And all of this is going to turn into more mealworm production. So it's all going to get insulated uh, and uh, drywalled and then insulated on the top. Uh, the sides aren't going to be drywall, so the sides are going to be that pink foam there uh, to get more, um, more insulation. Uh, and so right now where we're at is, uh, let me go to where the new office is going to be right here. So lighting is all moved in here. I need to do outlets, uh, but there's the door and it's going to be about this size, uh, a little smaller than the existing office. But what I realize is that I don't need a huge office. It's a lot of wasted space. Um, I need enough room for me to come in, uh, change, I like get out of my coveralls, um, probably enough room for two, two humans um, because there are some sometimes multiple people here at the same time uh, and just a real small desk with the computer. I don't need a whole ton of uh, space or anything else. Um, and so that is going to be the office and then the current office, which is this wall here, there's the door and then that side wall, all that's going away. Uh, I've decided to go ahead and get rid of this for now. Um, I had thought about potentially doing like a uh, a room for different processes like harvesting, um, split pea flour, some of the dustier stuff. Uh, but instead I'm going to um, work on the dust collection process, um, which has gotten much better uh, with the Grizzly dust collector uh, and a couple other things. So that's the plan is to get rid of that. And so I had to uninstall all the electrical out of this wall. I'm trying to save the wall um, just more from a like using the, the resources here. Um, uh, it'll save cost as well. Uh, but I just, I don't want to like tear that out and throw it away or store it. Uh, so we're going to cut that into two pieces, uh, maybe three, depending on uh, size and reuse that wall for the new office wall. So I had to come over and plug in. I forgot to move my sensor push gateway onto the extension cord that's running over here, um, for the Wi-Fi. And so I don't have temperature info uh, and I kind of want that right now because it's been chilly in the evening. Got down to 19 last night, which is cold for central Missouri. Uh, for those folks uh, up north that uh, get colder, uh, it's all relative. Um, but uh, that's kind of where things are at right now. Lots of storage here. That crate is still here. Hopefully that's going to be going soon. Uh, pick up debacles. Uh, pretty interesting to experience the transit logistics. Um, and how that communication pipeline uh, functions. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, so the ceiling should go in this week. Uh, blown in insulation will be next week. And uh, I'm gonna just chip away at things like, I got electrical now in this wall, uh, so I can get the bad insulation in there and um, get the uh, two inch rigid foam on it this week. Um, chip away at the, those things like that while working in the mealworm farm as well. So. That's the current plan. Uh, all the trays showed up, so we are at 2,700 trays at this point. Um, not in production yet. Um, nine pallets worth of those. Uh, there are 85, so nine times 85. That many trays is in storage uh, in the old mealworm farm. Uh, and I've got a couple pallets outside, and I'm pulling those in and using them to expand the colony right now. Uh, and eventually, all of this will be filled. So that's where things are at. Uh, any questions or suggestions, uh, let me know and uh, more to come.